Hey guys, so I just want to take a few minutes tonight and talk to you about um, my earnings from when I first started up until now and also the amount of time that I put in um, when I first started and what I'm putting in now that I've been coaching for several years because I know that it is a common question. Um, you know, how much do you make? How did you get there? And how much time are you actually putting into this each day? So just want to be really upfront with you guys and let you know a little bit about my personal journey when it's come to building this business and earning an income for my family. So it's like any job, you know, whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it, right? It's going to be a reflection of the amount of time and the consistency that you put into your business. And so it's fine, you know, I have many coaches who come on and they're like, well, I really just wanna work on my own journey or I would love to earn um, enough to cover the cost of my own Shakeology or maybe an extra $200 a month just to help support my family. And honestly, that was my vision in the very beginning was I really wanted to just earn a little bit of extra income so we could afford a date night every once in a while or I could go shopping from time to time and not feel so guilty for buying a new shirt. Um, and then others want to really go at this strong and earn a full-time income. They want to be able to leave their full-time job or part-time job. They want to be able to bring their husband home from work, whatever it is that their vision is. So it just depends on the person and really the amount of time you put in um, depends on your personal goals and when you want to get there. And so for me, you know, it hasn't been um, a real fast journey. I wasn't putting in tons of time in the beginning um, because that was a season of life that I was in. Um, for me, in the very beginning, I had a newborn and a toddler. That's when I first started. So in the beginning, I was just putting in 30 minutes to an hour a day. But when I did put in that time, it was focus time. And it really is something that I enjoy so much that it didn't feel like work to me. Um, it's something I'm passionate about. I was enjoying having something as a mom to call my own. Something beyond just changing diapers, um, getting to interact with other adults, help other women, um, and encourage them was really something that I really just loved. And I still do. So that's what I did in the beginning, which is an hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a day and fitting it in the mom cracks of time. You know, when you have a newborn and a toddler, um, things don't always go as planned. And in the beginning, you know, my paycheck would be sometimes $30 a week, $60 a week, and then I would see it climb to 100 a week, and then it started creeping up to more 300 to 600 a week once I started actually building a team of coaches, and that helps you start earning team cycle bonuses. So that's when my income started to grow more. And so in the beginning, it was about you know, 300 to 500 a month. And then um, I started getting to where I was making around 2,500 by the end of my, you know, about a year and a half into coaching, 2,500 a month. And then it got up to 6,500 a month, my third year. And now I am making um, anywhere between 16,000 to 19,000 a month. So, um, you know, do I put more time in than an hour a day now? Yes. I mean, it has grown um, the amount of time that I put in. But at the same time, I never put in more than 20 hours a week. Um, my priority is my family, and I don't want to sacrifice my why for my why. And you'll learn about this in our coach training. We talk about having a why for what, what we want to do with this and what's our purpose you know, what do we want to accomplish for our family through coaching? And so my why is I want more time with my family. So I'm not going to sacrifice um, all this extra time for my family that um, is taking me away from my why, if that makes sense. So um, I don't put in more than 20 hours a week. And the great thing is it's a very flexible business. So if you're having a baby or you want to go on vacation, you can take time off when you want to and you don't have to report to anybody to ask them for time off, which I love about this. And it's definitely not a um, get rich scheme. You know, it takes time. But if you put forth the effort and you really believe in the opportunity in front of you, you will get results. 
and you just have to give it time. It's not a microwave business. If anybody tells you they have a microwave business that it's you'll get rich quick, then they're lying. It's that's that's not possible. Um, but it is 100% possible to build an amazing income with this if that is your goal and you're willing to dig your heels in and dive into the training that we have for our team and we're going to be there to support you along the way. And it's with the same thing in everything you do in life, really, you know, whatever you put into your fitness journey is what you're going to get out. Whatever you put into your marriage or your kids, that's what you're going to get back or whatever you put into your current job, right? So um, we're going to meet you where you're at and you don't have to be afraid of failing. I mean, we've all failed. We've all failed our way forward to get to where we are now, which is the cool thing about coaching is you just start, you know, and, and we're going to be here to support you. And it doesn't matter if your goal is to make $100 a month or cover the cost of your Shakeology or you want to make a full-time income, we're going to support you in whatever that is for you and your family. All right, so I hope that gives you a good picture of – the amount of time I've been able to put in with my business and how it's grown over the last few years.